Hello and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be looking at something a bit different we're looking at a western normal cell and pick this up at Biggles Wade in fact I picked up two of them well let's uh, have a look inside this one and see what goodies are inside then I'll explain what one of these cells are here we go it's all that lovely chemical stuff basically what one of these I are or used to be used for is a voltage standard uh, the way of calibrating voltmeters back in the day and they give a standard voltage it should be about 1.01 .01 8 ish volts but obviously temperature comes into it so it should be measured at 20 degrees and that's measuring about 24 so it will be slightly under I'd imagine so let's uh, this has got two cells in it so let's connect it up uh, as these are the standard you shouldn't leave anything connected for too long because obviously you start drawing current going to be using the uh, Micron to multimeter which is one of the group buys off eBay so that's on voltage AC switch that on and we'll get in 1.019 volts so that's on the B cell let's disconnect them let's try it on the A cell at the back can't see that, that's off camera. There we go. And that is reading 1.019 volts. I mean, if I have a different multimeter, it could do other decimal places. So let's move this out of the way and I'll show you a brief look what. Uh, what chemicals are inside. Right, so if you forgive my terrible drawings, <laughs> should be 1.018 volt and a whole lot in like a H pattern. So we've got cadmium sulfate liquid and one part we've got mercury sulfate which is a mixture of cadmium and whatever you, and you've got mercury over the other side we've got cadmium mercury amalgam basically cadmium and mercury uh, mixed together and with the electric voltimetry which I used to do a bit in uni it gives 1.018 volts these things are quite they, they are pretty useless now today standards because we've all got digital standards but uh, if you find them they're quite fun just a bit of a, I don't know what you bloody call it really, but um, yeah, be careful with these things if they're broken because cadmium can cause high levels of cancer and mercury well. Nervous system damage, kidneys, liver, immune system, yeah, you don't want this stuff on you. So um, it's going to be stored on a shelf in a very safe place and just there to look at. But I think it'll be interesting to see what different voltages I get on different temperatures so it's like dozen of 25 at the moment so um, might leave it in the kitchen a bit let it cool down and uh, have, have a look then and uh, might compare them or might not anyway that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it and uh, catch you soon bye for now